Welcome to the Alpha Las Vegas Open here in the Rio All Suites and Hotel run by Predator and CSI. Our next match for today is a fantastic matchup actually with the current World 8-Ball and 9-Ball champion Francisco Sanchez Ruiz and France top player Alex Montpellier. In the commentary booth for this match there is another champion joining Christina Tekac and then there is me Tim De Ruiter. How are you today, Christina? Hello, guys. I'm, I'm glad to be back. Uh, I'm doing good. Had some practice a little bit on the side and excited to start. Good, good. And what do you think here for the match? Ooh. <laughs> well, we know that FSR now is on fire and it's going to be really hard to break the momentum. Ooh. A little wild break, but... <laughs> Not with this kind of break, of course. Well, definitely made at least a ball, that's good. And I think he's still got the initiative to play a good safety here. Yeah, I think he can see the right side of the one ball and play a good safety, right? Let's see how much he can see. He might be able Just to, to think play the left side and get the cue ball behind the 2-6. Oh. I'm not, I'm I'm not, not sure, sure how much he can see yeah. from, the two, uh, from the one ball. Otherwise, the right side does work too, bringing the cue ball back down table. Just like that. Oh, Covered by the like seven. That. Oh, that's actually pretty good. So yeah, I think it's easy one rail kick, but still. To me, it looks like if he's going to kick just past the side, then he's going to get to the bottom of the one in this view. So it's not really easy to make it. So he's probably going to try to kick and stick. Yeah. Get the one ball to the top center pocket in this view and stopping the cue ball right there. Well, that works too. Yeah, at least the speed was good that the one ball got down table. So yeah. we are playing two races to four and if they tie one each, we have a deciding shootout. Early 10 balls are allowed. We are not playing WPA rules, we're playing Pro Beard Series rules. It's just one small addition. But they do not count on the break. Also, they're playing with a 30 second shot clock. Oh. One extension per rack per player. And yeah, Alex should have taken his Taking extension there, yeah. I think. I because think so. thinning that ball and being under. The, the pressure from the time is quite tough. Yeah, not happy of course because he's leaving easy, one ten combination here. Yeah, relevantly easy, but yeah, I mean, for FSR, you it's will <laughs> fancy him to make it. I mean, <laughs> let's see. I think he shouldn't have any problems with that. Oh, oh, got a little thin, and he's left. A very good opportunity for Alex to stick the cue ball behind the five. Unexpected. I would actually try to miss it on the thick side. Yeah. Because you got a bigger pocket. Bigger pocket, but yeah. But he overcut it just a little bit. Well, sometimes it's kind of hard to enroll in the match and you're going to need a couple shots to be comfortable with the table, with the atmosphere. Well, that's a pretty good shot by Alex. Yeah, I'm not sure how far he can get on the long rail. He's gonna be kicking one rail for sure. A lot of left spin. Call I it in the corner. Yeah, I think he can see quite a bit. Gonna play hard stun shot. Oh no. Oh, you were right. He couldn't see that much. Yeah, yeah. came up short and the first opportunity for Alex Montpellier. What you have to remember playing on a new table is you d it slides sliding a lot and the cue ball lose a lot of spins so you want to make sure that you play as much as you can in shots like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough to judge how the cue ball is going yeah. to open up from the rail. Oops. Got a little a little bit too much draw on that. Definitely would not want to be straight on the four. It'd still be okay to stun the cue ball over to the center of the table. Yeah, like that. 
Yeah, talking before the match with Christina, I said definitely Francesco Sanchez Ruiz is the shooter in this match, and Montpellier for me is the brains. Exactly. He's a very clever player. Likes to play strategy. I don't know any card games he doesn't play. <laughs> like he, he loves to play all of it. A little far on the seven, but has left himself a good angle to be guaranteed on the eight if he makes this. She actually, he actually cheated the pocket on the other side. <laughs> yeah. I would overcut it a little bit. I would try to get the yeah. cue ball off the rail, yeah. Well, well at least he's looking pretty comfortable yeah. to me. He's looking good. Yeah, just just before this event, played a very big tournament, Stella Atua Open in Belgium, got to the semi final. So he was playing good there and it's a nice warm up. Definitely looking to continue his form here. Takes the first game, Alex Montpellier. Yeah, 192 player field with $125,000 prize money fund. It's not too bad. Yeah, it's, it's pretty big. I was surprised, it's almost 200 men coming for this event. Yeah. And when they just started, it was barely fulfilled. That's that's very impressive. Well, and if you, you we just seen the the whole venue, this is only just a piece of it. We got over 350 bar tables, I believe. Bar tables, apex, pair of the apex seven foot tables, and we're expecting over 7,000 league players. Yeah, it's huge. It's the biggest, basically, tournament of the year. Yeah. Biggest pool holiday. Oh, just so many fans and the atmosphere is great it's and we great. do have people in the crowd at all times and it's just great for I think for a pros is really valuable to be here too yeah it's it's to be honest it's very nice to play when there is a lot of viewers spectators and uh, it's it's just a different vibe I'd say so did it's not manage break. yeah not managing to make a ball well at least didn't leave the position a lot of players breaking from a side at least if they're not going to make the ball they're not going to sell out the whole table yeah because if you look at the layout it's wide open just a, just a battle for the one yeah. yeah i think he will bank the one ball over and get the cue ball behind the seven eight ten just like that is there gonna be a gap I think it's okay, but if he left the inside, the left oh, side no. in this field, then Alex could get away with the shot. I don't think he can see enough of the long rail to kick one, one rail, right? Attention, please. So it's not, it's not going to be an easy. Oh, he's, he's pulling out his jump, jumper. <coughs> yeah, call this extension. Definitely would not want to be under the time pressure jumping. No. <laughs> I think he learned his mis from his mistake in the previous rack. That's yeah. how you know the pro is playing. Never make the same mistake twice. So, 1 6 3 combo. And. Got lucky. Yeah. Got very fortunate there. Of course, not very difficult to hit the one from this position, but. Alex cannot complain about the outcome here. But also, he has to hit it pretty good from the left side, making sure he's not leaving the shot. Well, oh, look to. at this. <laughs> wow. Oh, I don't think he got behind the tree, but no. he still cannot complain it's about great. how he cut that one. Yeah. Very yeah, good shot. For sure, one of the hottest players on the tour right now. I mean, he's really in form, winning a lot of tournaments. He's in fire. You, ha you, you can see this happens a lot when 
somebody just break through and suddenly start winning everything. You know, just yeah, it's a little I, I, I guess just confidence. Yeah, from UK Open, since then he started winning everything. He got his own confidence. Maybe that's the only thing that was stopping him from winning before. And he finally got it, so... He's a great player. So playing for the two ball in the side pocket. Always had the corner pocket or the side. Float this in. Oh. Was not a great safety shot from Alex. No. And I don't see any big problems on the table. Right? May maybe getting from the four to the five to the could five. be a little tricky yeah. just to maneuver around the balls, but at least there's nothing really together. There's no really stuff you have to bump. Yeah. I think you can use one rail follow just to go back another side of the table. Uh, either that or if he goes two rails. And if he bumps the seven or the eight, it's most likely to push it to the inside and get the five still. Yeah. Have two options. Either or is he is he gonna just drop it in and take a more tougher shot? Maybe just go in between the eight and the ten and. Yeah, well I think it's pretty risky. Yeah, I would try yeah. to get close on the five, but he ju he chose the more difficult option. I think. Of course, making the shot is not too difficult no. with the sliding cloth, yeah. but it's also getting the cue ball out of there. Good shot, but wrong angle. So he has to play seven in the, in the corner pocket. Well, he might play for the seven in the other side pocket. Goes one rail like this. Yeah, that's good shot. Gonna play it in a corner or in a side? Corner? Oh, I played in the corner. Just because mm. the pocket plays bigger that way. Yeah. And I think, I think he's, he's got the wrong angle yeah, again on the eight. The wrong angle. And the table's playing a little slower, so it's not gonna be easy. Yeah, that's he has to play the, the bank shot now. Oh, played it well. Beautiful. Great shot. He had to do something, and he really came up with it. Yeah, to level the score after the safety mistake from Alex Montpellier. One each. Our referee for this match, John Lehman, wrecking the balls for Francisco to break. Curious to see how he's breaking. I do not really remember how he has been breaking the other probate series events he played. I think so he was breaking from the side, but you know, they, they change all the time. So depending on how the table plays, Yeah, I think he's going to break from the side. Two balls on the break and... Oh, quite unfortunate not yeah. to get the one ball. It's a, it's an okay jump though, he, he might be choosing to jump the one. I think it's, yeah, it's pretty easy jump, but you gotta make sure that he's playing it pretty soft. Otherwise the cube is gonna jump off the table because the object ball is quite close to the rail. And I think he's looking to play push out. 
Yeah, playing the push to either play the safety of the right side of the one or possible the bank. I do like the safety though. Bring the one ball up to the left side of the, oh well, up to the two, three and the cue ball all the way back down yeah. behind the four, eight. It's, it's running with the easy bank, but it's not necessarily going to guarantee the position for the two ball unless you try to draw the ball. Yeah, That's I for sure did. like this shot and it's a cue ball to go. No, it did not go. Alex might not be happy after this shot. No, it's he can get that hook behind two and three. Yeah, yeah you have to favor him ball. getting the cue ball behind those two balls. It's kind of a big spot. Even if he runs into the two ball, he still gets the hook. Still not an easy shot, but it's it's very standard, I'd say. Well, he is taking quite some time, so maybe it's not that comfortable. Oh, it's really I soft. I don't think it's going to be enough. Yeah, I don't think he got there. Did he just get enough behind the two? Uh, it's hard to say from here. I don't think he's... He, I think Alex can still see some of the one ball. But if he can make it, it would be a good opportunity. He was looking at kind of where he wants to cue ball end up. Maybe he can see the one wall to cut it. Yeah, oh definitely. Yeah, he's going for it. Oh. Hey. He undercut it actually, so he had plenty of room. Well, he did miss it a little bit on the thick side, so was maybe trying to push the one ball with a lot of spin, hit it thick and twist it in. Caught it just a little bit too thick and good opportunity for Sanchez to gain some more control in this match. I feel like he's, like it's going back and forth, the yeah. momentum right now. Oh, oh it might not be happy. The bank? Yeah, the bank is yeah. relatively easy. Or you would like to not shoot the bank, or he is looking at the cut. Cut it. Just has to be aware of the five and the six. Yeah, good control. Played Thank around you. those two balls, and he's back on track. Very good. It's great. Executed. Cue ball control. Yeah, so there is no, no difficulties in this rack. Yeah, still has to play good angles though. Getting from the five to the six could be a little bit annoying. Oh, it's getting to the rail. Yeah, now it's he has really to. He has not settled down with the speed, though. No, like yeah, yeah. I think he has to play with slight inside spin. It's not really comfortable to do from the from the rail. Well, and, he? and also with the cloth. Yeah, the no, newer cloth yeah. pushes the cue ball out a little bit more, so it's a shot that a lot of players do miss at times. Mm -hmm. Especially with the shot clock under the pressure, it's very miserable shot. right in the heart of the pocket. Yeah, and this Stamble to take his first lead this in this first set. He's up 2-1. We'll go for a short one minute break and we'll be right back. Uh, I like coming off the second rail, that way I guarantee I'm not frozen to the rail. Oh, yeah, he just went right around it. Wow. 
He said, 10 ball this. Safe here, isn't he? Yeah, he's playing safe all the way out to, out to the left of the ball. Oh, this has got to be accurate, and it's going to be. Look at this for a shot. Nice Glorious, speed. lovely nice shot. Speed. Oh, did he come? Yep, he made it. The rail. Oh, my, what a wow, shot. That was a hell of a shot right there. But not there because the 10 ball was very big. Oh, look at this around the back of the Right line. around the back. Oh, yeah. what a shot that is. Well, this will close. back here in the Rio All Suites and Hotel with the Alfa Las Vegas Open. Francisco Sanchez Ruiz is up 2-1 over Alex Montpellier from France. He's breaking off in rack number four. Last time made two balls on the break. The five ball is going and well does have a chance here though. He can go for the bank. I think you should go for the bank. The high reward with the two and the three next to each other. Guaranteed position, so if you make it, you're out. Well, you can al also always try to miss it on the short side, so you can get some kind of safety. Let's see how big is the angle. And if he had, has to hold the cue ball. Perfect. Played it a little bit more speed to shoot the two in the same corner. It's also a little bit more comfortable to play at that speed than yeah. to really soft yeah, roll it in. You don't want to hold the cue ball. Yeah, and pretty good layout here. Maybe from the four to the six could be a little bit difficult, but it's mainly just routine nowadays for those yeah. for these guys. It's all about just creating a necessary angle and just try to play natural. Good. Yeah, starting to play faster and faster. Yeah, you can see he's very comfortable now on the table. Ooh. Oh, I think he misjudged this one. Too much draw. I think he wanted to play more like a stun shot. Yeah. Yeah, nicknamed the Ferrari. <laughs> That's how they call him. Well, I think everyone will understand why. So he's looking in a thin cut from the right side of the seven, bringing the cue ball behind the ten. Yeah, I think it might be his only option. Don't really know what more he could do. Mm. Can he thin it and still get to the short rail? Because otherwise that would be the shot I would shoot. Moving the seven ball up to the ten and then just get past it. Just like that. Uh, still in control, but Alex should actually not be on the table. Yeah. So you gotta th say thank you for any opportunity you get to come back to the table. Yeah, call the seven ball on the side. Just trying to hit the outside for the seven, trying to create distance. A little full. He said nine ball to come into play and yeah, I think it just barely did. It's close. It's hard to say, look at Alex's reaction. I think FSR can still has an edge of the ball to make it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and there it goes. On his way to be on the hill in this first set. Good angle. Yeah. Francisco Sanchez Ruiz, who has been playing all the Pro Billiard Series events, 
I did not get the opportunity yet to win one, as far as I remember. But I'm sure he will love to add this one to his resume. <laughs> Having a good <little> chat. <laughs> yeah, Alex saying, all the balls are always in the same corner. It's always here. They always end up in the top left corner. Oh, yeah. It's also good sometimes because when you got those little nerves going on to make that little joke or just chat that little bit sometimes yeah. in the arena. And a lot of, you know, you should understand that, you know, we all know each other, like me and you, and uh, for a long time. I th they play kids together in European yeah. Championships, so they know each other forever. So it's, it's, you know, of course it's, you know, it's a game and it's serious, but you always have to not forget to have fun, yeah. especially if you're playing with your friend. It was a nice very powerful break, making the one in the side. Just that cue ball running all the way down to the short rail made it tough for him and will most likely play the push out. I don't like to jump this two at all. I think he can make it, but is there is a scratch? Yeah, I think it's close to the scratch. It's not a comfortable thing, but I will never turn this back because there's maybe two different safeties he could play. He could thin the two ball with left spin and get all the way back down to the 3-8. Could bang the two ball up the table and get the cue ball behind the five ball. He's trying to run up behind the five, but this one was risky though, because he was Very always risky. going to yeah. leave the two if he would not get behind the five. So opportunity for Francisco Sanchez Ruiz, but straight on the two ball. So we'll be able to maybe force a little bit over to cut the three, but he's not gonna get ball in hand shape. No. That's perfect. I think the only difficulty here is from getting some from three to the four. That's what he's thinking about. Maybe to play low with the right spin to kind of come around, but the nine ball is. He, he might be choosing to run into the eight. Run into the eight, but there's a big chance he'll have to play the the bank shot after that. Yeah, it's it's either the bank or you flick it just a little bit on the sides and you'll be able to cut yeah. the four. I mean, sometimes you got to take the medicine in this case. I don't really see someone getting on the four very easily. No, I would also run, I think, an eight ball. It's just more chances you're going to end up with the position. Yeah, just like that. I think he still does have the cut. Yeah, I think he's going to cut it. But then again, the nine does nine come into play yes. and the six, seven, six. because you're going to be short, it's not easy. Unless he'll try to play basically in the same spot where the four ball is now. Yeah, just to run back down. Yeah. Can he go in between the six and nine and... Yeah, you play with a lot oh. of spin. Yeah. That was a very difficult shot. That was very close to the nine ball. So Sometimes it's hard when you do commentary to say what, what angle is there and how much room between balls they have. Yeah, now it's just... Five balls to win the first set. Very routine layout. Made just a couple mistakes, not many. He's missed maybe two shots. But his B game is quite strong as well. Yeah. He's very confident with his game, that's for sure. Yeah, one of the nicer guys on the tours for sure. Oh yeah. Sanchez Ruiz always uh, smiling, smiling and always having fun. Yeah, positive attitude. It's always have it's always nice to talk to him. So this stand ball to win the first set. Francisco Sanchez Ruiz takes the first set fourth one. We'll go for a short little break and then continue with set number two.
we are back here with the Alpha Las Vegas Open. Currently waiting for Alex Montpellier and Francisco Sanchez Ruiz to come back. Just they just went for a short little bathroom break. So, do you like the format? I do. I I actually enjoy playing these tournaments. I actually like ten ball a lot, and um, yeah, I'm always excited to play. I've I've missed, of course, a lot of tournaments previous years, so I'm I'm glad I'm back. Good. Yeah, it's a little different format, and there's not too many ten ball tournaments. No, be not just at besides all. this. So I'm glad that they're still trying to keep the game alive. It's completely different from playing nine ball. It's more like a run out game all the time, and yeah. there's way more strategy and moving in ten ball, which I really prefer. Me too. You gotta really, you know, think a lot and know how to move the cue ball around to to win, not just you know run out seven easy balls, which pretty much <laughs> almost everyone in the tour can do right now. Yeah. So. Okay, so another crushing break. It looks like that nine ball was gonna go straight to the pad, but six and a one go in. Has a look on the two, but not sure if he will make the two ball. Might have to play the carom on the four. Or can he make it and kind of draw it from the four to get it to the three ball? I think he's just gonna get on the bottom yeah, side of the four. If he shoots the two into the eight to gain control over the two ball and then make the four, then he could have a good. Yeah, that's right. Oh, it's a little no, soft. No. I was gonna say hit that a little soft. So good opening opportunity in the second set for Alex Montpellier, who desperately needs to get something going in this match. Gonna play safety behind the eight ball. Yeah, not sure. I think he got it. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, uh, he's definitely hooked. Not sure how much he can see. Maybe he's got the gap between the seven or the ten. Like that would be favorable for him. Well, he's about. He's gonna mess this. It looks like he's gonna mess this because he took his extension off. I don't think he has another option to be honest. Uh, yeah, this was can. probably the only thing the only he could thing, have done. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and Didn't now Alex does have the angle to get to the left side to cut the three ball in. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a big chance for Alex to to get a little control of the game in here. Well, he's not really liking it that much, so it might be a little tougher than we think. I think because the cue ball is too boost quite close to each other and if you try to draw it's going to be more like jump in the cue ball you know what i mean yeah if you try to power it yeah i was thinking you could go forward with inside spin but might yeah, run into the know. five so he's stunning over straight over beautiful play so another really easy combination though still has to cut the three ball a bit Still, we should favor him to make this, as the pocket do play yeah. big with the new cloth. I think he has to overcut it just a little bit. Yeah. Just like that. And in a previous view, we could see that that five ball does go in the bottom right corner in this view. Yeah, it does. So all he has to do is create the right angle for the four ball. It's a little short on the four, or at least to m uh, yeah. what I prefer. The four ball is still pretty deep in the pocket, so I think he can cheat the pocket easily and just draw it softly. Oh yeah, he's yeah. okay. Good recovery. Now back to work. It's kind of straight on the five, but he can still play with draw and come off the top long rail. Nice speed. 
having a pretty nat natural angle to follow the seven ball and get it to the eight. Yeah, good start in the second set for Alex. But actually, we were surprised to see him get to the table when Francisco Sanchez Ruiz m missed the carom on the four. <coughs> so maybe some momentum switch. Would not be surprised if this match still goes to a shootout. You never know. That's the beauty of this format. Even if you win the first game, you still can find yourself in the position that your opponent is. And you have to go to decider. Yeah, looking focused and calm so far. So breaking from the side rail. Quite some draw on the cue ball and I think that really took a lot of speed out of the break. Yeah. Apologized yeah. there, knew he was a little lucky with how that one ball ended up. I think though Francisco can still cut it in, it's just that it's really hard to control the cue ball after that shot. Yeah, I don't like it that much. I think just because I would want to play it with inside to get to the other short rail. And that's going to be, at some point it gets too tough to take the risk. Yeah, so no, for sure. I'd rather play a, a good defensive shot here. Is he able to maybe kick underneath it? Send the one ball down table behind the 4 6 10. I don't know, I think three ball is way too close for that. Or is he thinning the right side? Half a ball maybe? Yeah. yeah get behind the five. It's a little slow. Did he give up the shot? No, he did not leave the shot. But there's a high reward yeah. with the jump. With the two and the three just being next to the one. Or can he play a rail first with a lot of spin? Oh, oh he's, he's jumping. The yeah, he's got his jump cue out. Take an extension. Yeah, ag <laughs> again, he <laughs> yeah. he just gets to the last couple seconds on the jump. And yeah, he jumped it to go rail first. Close though, definitely a good effort, but good efforts sometimes also do not, not really work. No. <laughs> I mean, gotta make them. And this is not an easy shot. He has to draw and he's jacked up. Well, not for FSR. Played yeah. it good. Now yeah, it's, it's a good shot on the two to leave himself a nice angle for the three. Yeah, to go to, to the four ball because it's pretty tight area. You can play it in a right corner, on the side. And that's pretty much it, I think. Does not want to get straight. He did not. And yeah, he can go in between the four and the seven to get to the four. judged yeah, very good, good speed good speed yeah perfect can't get any better than that I think we can just stop it here follow stop stop follow it's pretty easy layout
Yeah, left himself a good angle on the nine to get down table for the ten ball. Like to play just one rail. Could choose to go two rails and leave a little more angled ten ball, but I like this a lot. Good speed and this is to level the score. Francisco Sanchez Ruiz takes a second wreck in his second set, leveling the score one each and he's been playing pretty good. We'll go for a short little break. We'll be right back. I like coming off the second rail, that way I guarantee I'm not frozen to the rail. Mm -hmm. this way. Oh, yeah, he just went right around it. Wow. He said 10 ball this. I can use me. Yeah, he's playing safe all the way out to, out to the left of the ball. Oh, this has got to be accurate, and it's going to be. Look at this for a shot. Nice Glorious, speed. lovely nice shot. Speed. Oh, did he come? Yep, he made it. He just made it. The rail. Oh my, what a wow, shot. That was a hell of a shot right there. But not there because the 10 ball was very big. Oh, look at this around the back of the right around the back. Oh, yeah. what a shot that is. Yeah, this will close. We are back with the Alpha Las Vegas Open. Francisco Sanchez reached to break in wreck number three. Oh, I hit that really, really good. Straight in the face, making a one, and just a little unlucky not to get on the two, but I don't think he gets really troubled by it. Has a good safety opportunity. Very good. Yeah, this is quite the trap. Yeah, it's not sure if there is something Alex can shoot here. Just looking to go three rails. Three rails, yeah. It's going short rail, long rail, and the bottom long rail. Looks like it's going to get a little short though. Oh, wow, what, wow, a, shot. what a shot. <laughs> That's a we fabulous shot. We should put it in our list. <laughs> it's just unfortunate he didn't make it. It would be even yeah. crazier. No, great, great hit, that's for sure. Just a little unfortunate to leave the tube in the open. But in the end, it was a good safety shot from Very Francisco Sanchez Ruiz, of course. Not an easy way to get to the three ball. Yeah, I might have to settle down just where the cue ball is right now. Take a little tougher three ball. Well, he judged wow. that really good. Really good. The slide. Yeah. It's looking pretty good. Very controlled. Both players are quite feeling the table too, so far. Yeah. Kicking pretty good, positional play. Table playing pretty good. It's not really sliding cloth, it's not really too fast. A little bit too slow, but I prefer it this way more, to be honest. Where you have room to kind of power the ball. So low right on this to get on the six to the side pocket or the corner if it goes a little far of course but it's getting really tuned in good speed it's dropping down <laughs> really fast confidence high yeah you can see his attitude in the table has changed a lot from the first set He's feeling very comfortable, confident on a table. Feels like nothing can stop him. S 
Yeah, and then this Stamble to take the lead again in this second set. The Ferrari has started his engines. Yeah, it's a pleasure to watch always with his fast style and he's also a big shooter, like he shoots from almost everywhere. everywhere yeah. Yeah, it's it's a uh, it's big satisfaction to watch him play. It's very fast, very natural, flu fluid. Alex, not a slow player too, but cannot really <laughs> compare to to Sanchez Ruiz, of course. I'm always wondering what players thinking about. Especially you know. when they zoom in in shots like this, yeah. I'm like, what would he be thinking? <laughs> So already had a couple really good breaks. Sanchez Ruiz just breaking off and wrecking on before. He's been breaking pretty good this tournament. This sorry, this this game. Yeah, almost um. made the one, but got lucky to make the three. And unlucky not. To and unlucky not to get the one. Wonder. Yeah. That's how pool works. Somewhere you, somewhere you, you get lucky, somewhere not. That's how game is. Oh, the push out. Can leave it and then in case play safety from the do right side of the one ball. Do you maybe you like to push the eight and the six together from here? Yeah. Well, because I think if you're always gonna leave quite a good opportunity yeah, to play he's a safety. safety. Oh, he's, he's kicking the eight, but yeah, try to push together. Yeah, Spring most likely. the cue ball behind the five, or sending one ball in there. Yeah, it looked like he's pushing the one to the five seven. Oh, he thinned out so much. Yeah. Wow. He knew it the moment he hit it that he was going to yeah. scratch. It's way too thin. Yeah. If you would try to hit it this thin, it would be quite a task <laughs> to yeah. do, but. Yeah. And as a result, he scratched. Well, Francisco has a, having a great chance to get on the hill again and repeat the first set basically yeah it's the same kind of rhythm yeah alex winning the first game and then sanchez just running over him oh we go a little far more difficult five ball but he can still play for the short side of the six or can he just leave it in the center of the table and then take a thin cut on the six ball or power it in two rails? Uh -oh. oh, yeah, he did not get there. Can he still get to the kick and stick? Yeah, called it in the side. If the cue ball stays there, would be a strong shot. Yeah, just like wow. that, perfect shot. Very nicely executed and tough to hit for Alex. Will he try to, to take the jump shot? Could go for the jump shot. Don't mind him kicking one rail over the right long rail. Take an extension, oh my god. <laughs> Just oh, go. And, oh, it's a good shot. Yeah. But again, yeah, the, the time the management timing, has been yeah. a little strange. Well, it's, you know, it comes with experience. I think he's not playing a lot on the TV table and it's, it's only coming with experience, I feel like. It's a good shot, but he might be able to nick it again. Yeah, I think he can. 
Is it frozen? Even oh. if he doesn't see the six ball, he can play one rail. Oh, no, he can see it. Never mind. Yeah, just make sure you have that cue ball behind the ten. Yeah, I gotta play with because a lot of Because the six is going to be in the open. Oh, he actually seen more than it seems like he yeah. does. Yeah, we played a good shot. A very good shot. Got that ten ball into play and I'm not sure if Sanchez can still use the long reel next to the six. Mm. Hard to say. If he cannot do it, then the shot is very tricky. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be not easy to try to somehow play safety back. Yeah, but kicking, I think he does. He's right? kicking from the back and call it in the corner. He knows that if he at least can send the six ball up table, there's yeah. a chance to get lucky with the eight or get push it to the short rail. So a little, a little swerve, a little messe. Oh, oh, straight in the hole. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Not lucky with this. But it's it's not also super easy shot. He has to play rail first, or there's a big chance if he's gonna play yeah straight, he might just scratch. But yeah. this was also tricky because he would get into the eight ball. Yeah, he would always have to settle down for a longer seven ball as well. Yeah. Little bit of body movement on that, and yeah, that's <coughs> going to be costly. Just four balls for Sanchez Ruiz to get himself on the hill. Watch the short. <laughs> it's all fall, right? All ball all falls, ball yeah. Falls. So if you cannot touch, touch with shirt yeah. or something. Hair. Glove, anything would yeah, be. Yeah, I don't have the problems with the hair. <laughs> no, <it's>, uh, <laughs> Talking for myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little gift from Alex Montpellier, who finally won the safety exchange. But yeah. it is Francisco Sanchez Ruiz who gets on the hill first, double hill. We would be in a tennis, we would say it's a match point. Point. Match point? Uh, no. I don't watch tennis too much. Um, I think it would be match point. I think uh, our listeners should <laughs> decide <laughs> if, if I said it the right way. Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> I, I trust you, sure. Yeah. Alex will need a quite a strong run from here to still be able to push through this match. I don't really see it happening by how uh, Sanchez was breaking all match. Yeah. Expect him to have a good break again. He actually made a ball almost every break. Almost every break, yeah. You could see focus in his eyes. He's not going to let it go easily. Yeah, again, the one straight in the side. Makes a seven ball. And a shot on the two. Yeah, I think. And also, there is just enough angle. No. He's having enough angle or the nine ball is in a way. That's what yeah, I think he might just be okay to get past the nine. I mean, it's a very difficult shot to get to the three. He will have to shoot it though. He could play the safety, over cutting the two up to the nine and bringing the cue ball all the way back down to where it is now. Yeah, but if he doesn't fancy to go for it though. Yeah, he's 
he really wants to to take <laughs> take a chance to run the table out. Or perhaps he's looking at the draw. Right? It is there. It's not something I would shoot to be honest. No. But if you are feeling comfortable. Wow. <laughs> he Look hit that, that so good. What a shot from Francisco Sanchez Ruiz. Great shot. Yeah, sometimes when you have a lead and you're feeling very comfortable, maybe it's not bad to, to take a risky shot and just finish the game, finish the match in a beautiful way. Yeah, she definitely has been playing a little better match than Mo Alex Montpellier so far. Yeah, I don't think there is much chances Francisco can miss in here. It's pretty standard layout, just from the 8 to the 9. A little Beautiful. nudge on the 10 and got a perfect angle on the 9 to get to the 10, so don't see him missing this 10 ball. No. Played a great match. Yeah, Francisco Sanchez Ruiz takes the match 2 0 over Alex Montpellier, who unfortunately couldn't get his game there. This was Christina Tekarts, thank you. Thank you, guys. And myself, Tim de Ruiter. And we'll be back in like an hour, I think. See you soon.